Doctors here at VCU's Children's Hospital say they are treating more patients with accidental gun-related injuries. That's simply because kids are getting their hands on guns just lying around their home. We over the last three years have seen a dramatic increase in those children that are coming to the hospital. Nationally, it's uh, occurring for everyone. Lieutenant Aaron Levine, who's been with VCU's police department for 17 years, says accidental gun related injuries here continues to be a problem. It's steady here being a trauma center. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, 4.6 million children in the U.S. live in a home where there is at least one loaded, unlocked firearm. VCU is trying to change that. The hospital now urging gun owning families to keep their guns locked up unloaded and separate from ammunition. Doctors there are tasked to ask all patients gun safety questions during well checks, encouraging family members to do the same. Just as if you were talking to your family or another friend and saying, hey, my child has an allergy to this food, so if you can limit and make sure that they're not exposed to that, you want to have that same conversation about a firearm. VCU is also giving away gun locks for different firearms to go on safes or the gun itself. It's just one step to keep kids safe. Providing them with the education about what we know and what can be prevented, we're hoping to encourage the families and caregivers to make sure that they're protecting children. Levine says there are ways to keep firearms close in case of emergency and away from the wrong hands. What I have at home is a thumbprint identification, so no one can access my safe unless it's me with my thumbprint on it, and that's a real easy way to access it. It takes seconds to uh, to open the safe in the event you needed to retrieve a firearm. Now the hospital is encouraging families that have guns and don't use them to talk to law enforcement about how to dispose of them safely.